The asset store is full of junk. Assets are submitted every day that aren't particularly useful, helpful, or well-made. I'm interested in finding the undiscovered assets, assets that are well-made, serve a useful purpose, but haven't yet risen to the surface in the overwhelming flood of asset store submissions. So I thought it would be interesting to search through my feed of new assets and look for ones that catch my eye and might be useful to you. So in this video, I wanna take a look at the tool Simple Tooltips. It's a free asset that allows a developer to quickly and easily add tooltips to their game. It works with both scene objects and with UI objects. Scene objects will require a collider and UI objects require a raycast target such as an image or text. So enough intro, let's get into it. The demo scene that comes with the asset is pretty basic in appearance, but is plenty good to show how to use the tool. The scene shows a range of styles that come packaged with the asset. But just to show you how easy it is to add tooltips to your objects, I'm going to switch scenes to where I've downloaded some stylized low poly items. These are also free on the asset store and I'll put a link in the video description below. With the addition of a single script, you can add tooltips to objects in your game. Out of the box, you can have text in the tooltip that has a line to the left and to the right. This is not the most sophisticated approach and more on that later, but when you look at the results, I think it serves its purpose quite well. If I push play, we can see the new tooltip in action. It looks okay as is, but it could use some style. Each tooltip can have a style assigned to it. Styles are scriptable objects where you can assign the background sprite, color tint for the sprite, text mesh pro font asset, as well as the default text color. Several predefined styles come with the asset and new styles can be created from the asset menu. The tool becomes more useful and more powerful in that it allows the developer to define custom markup tags in each style. With the custom tags, you can control the color and basic styles of the text. The tag set the style for any text that follows that tag. This allows you to add emphasis to any word or element in the tooltip text. Now going back to the tooltip that I created, I'll add some flair and color. I need to first assign the style. And in my case, I'm gonna choose the RPG style. I'll then add the markup tags like so. Then going back into play mode, I can see the improvement with important text now standing out with unique colors. You may notice that at runtime, a new prefab containing a canvas and a tooltip object will be added to your scene. This is pretty nice in that you don't have to worry about clogging up your scene with one more object or forget to add it. Simple Tooltips takes care of it for you. As I mentioned earlier, there are two text elements on each tooltip, one that is aligned to the left and one that is aligned to the right. I think for many, this will be all that you will need, but I can imagine that some may need or want more options for more precise control. The code uses this alignment to assign text to one of the two text elements. This is the part that while it works, prevents the developer from adding more text elements to the tooltip. Whereas defining a custom enum that could be modified by the developer could potentially allow far more variety and precision in the appearance of the tooltip. If you're interested in how that might be done, let me know in the comments below and maybe I can do a follow-up video. All in all, Simple Tooltips is exactly what it claims to be. Simple and easy to use tooltips. It won't take you more than five to 10 minutes to fully understand and implement the asset. Most PC games will have some form of tooltip to help out the player as they get started with a new game. If you need to add tooltips to your game, Simple Tooltips is worth checking out. If you do end up looking at the tool or even better using it in your game, make sure to leave a review and give the developer a little love and feedback. So if you found this video useful or interesting, think about hitting that like and subscribe buttons. If you wanna go further in supporting the channel, check out the links to my Patreon and Discord server in the video description below. So until next time, happy game designing.